Our Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakodash, all right? Uh, first and foremost, I want to give uh, double honors to my apostles and my elders that rule a great millstone with uh, with all diligence and rule will, all right? And I want to give peace and salutations to every brother preaching the truth about the four corners of the earth with truth and sincerity in their hearts. And right, without further ado, this is going to be a response video to the elder of our camp. Uh, and the title of that video is going to be uh, to to be in the to, to do the things of the spirit. No, to be in the spirit, you have to do the things of the spirit. All right. Uh, the first scripture I want to get is uh, John, John six and uh, sixty three, I believe. You got that out. Okay. This is Saint John chapter six, verse sixty three. It is the spirit that quickeneth. It is the spirit that quickeneth. That word quickeneth means to come alive. All right. To make a, to make to uh, to make to come to life. All right. The the inspiration of the Most High. All right, the words that he's speaking to us, it is the spirit that's speaking to us. Uh, so like it is the spirit that quick enough that make us come alive in that way. Uh, the flesh profit did nothing. Okay. The word that I speak unto you. The word that he's speaking to me. What word? You know, the scriptures. You know, Lord, I'll come in the volume of the book. It is written to me. You know, the whole, the entire scriptures is uh, is the Lord. Like you said, where you at? John 6 and... uh. I'm, I'm driving right now. 663. Gotcha. The flesh opposite of the spirit. Alright? The flesh and the spirit are two opposite entities. Alright, it says the words that I speak unto the unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Alright, and that's 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 the life. You know, that's the spirit. Because John 1 and 1, Baba Kusha. This is a. Uh, Get it in this one. Okay. So it could be on screen. Okay. This is a uh, Jeremiah chapter seven verse twenty-seven. It says, "Therefore, thou speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken unto thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee." It says, but thou shalt say unto them, this is the nation that obey not the voice of the Lord, their God, nor receive correction. Truth is, it says, nor receive correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. All right. So basically the point is, it says what? Therefore thou speak all these words unto them. And then what? It says, this is the nation that will obey not the voice of the Lord, their God. So basically the word. The word that we're speaking is what the voice of the Lord, which is what the Spirit. You know, it, 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 okay, kind. Let me read that. Yeah, kind. No, no, that, that was it today. I just want to reiterate, like when the Lord He said, he said well, "Speak all these words unto them." Well, we're, and, and, and we are speaking these words. So when we say these are not our words, we're literally saying these are not our words. We're speaking. You know, now you could take that as far as like, oh, but you saying them out your mouth. No, that we're not saying that's not what we're that's what we meant. We're saying that the, the message that we're coming in is not uh, 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 our message now uh, of our own heart. These are the Lord's messages. All right. These are the Lord's words, man. All right. Uh, and uh, if, even, even if the words are coming out of our mouth, we're just a mouthpiece, the mouth, the mouthpiece of the Lord. All right. Because we're, we're not coming up with the words that we're speaking. We're reading it verbatim from the scriptures. Absolutely. All right. Yep. It says, uh, John, first John, uh, so, so, okay. second, uh, so, Saint John chapter one, verse one, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with, and the word was with Yahweh, uh -huh. so, okay. and the word was with Yahweh Shai, and the word was Yahweh Shai. Uh, he was, you know, the word was Yahweh Shai, the power, you know, mm -hmm. the Lord, the, the, the spirit is the word, you yep. know, the spirit is the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, it's his will, all right, his word. It's prophecies. Everything written in the book. It says, "What, Lord, I come in the volume of the book. It is written to me, the entire book." You know. Yep. You know it says, "Uh, no, says, is that it today, or yeah?" yeah. No, uh, no, that was uh basically it today. Um, I'm uh I'm gonna read this uh verse five. It says, "It says, and the light shineth unto darkness, and the darkness comprehended not." All right. So that basically shows you what. I'm my friend. Let me get. The scripture to prove that uh, 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 what is the darkness? It 
This is uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24. It says, The earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. It says, if, it says, if not, where and who is he? All right. So this world is what? It's darkness, man. All right. And what's that light? That light is Yahweh Shai, all right, which is what? The words that we're speaking unto you, man. All right, that's why we constantly got to stay within the word. We constantly got to stay within that light. Because if we shift into darkness, what you what, what do you do when you're in darkness, man? You get lost. You stumble. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. It says, see, I have set before thee this day. This, this is, it's like it. See how I set before thee this day life and, and good. Mm -hmm. It says, and death and evil. And in and, and that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his com and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments. Which is the what? Which is the life? All right. Mm -hmm. Now give us the other side of that coin. Go ahead. It says that thou mayest live and multiply. Uh -huh. It says, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whether thou goest to possess it. If thou, it says, if thou, it's like, but if thine heart turn away, turn so away. so thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, that ye shall no, it says that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whether thou possess over Jordan to go to possess it. It says I call heaven and earth to record this again, to record this day again unto you, that I have set before you life and death, yep. blessings and cursings. Blessings and cursing, life there, and death. There, therefore, choose life. Choose life. Choose the scriptures. Choose the spirit that you have about Shemiah and Chuck. All right. Mm -hmm. Keep going. It says that both thou shall both thou and thy seed may live. So I live. So basically, life is the scripture. The scriptures are life. Is that yep. today? That, that, that scripture. Um. Verse? Oh, yeah, well, last verse. It says, Thou mayest love the Lord thy God, which is how you show love by keeping the statutes, laws, and commandments, which is an action. All right. It says, And thou shalt mayest obey his voice, and thou mayest cleave unto him. For if he is thy life, and the length and the length of thy days, thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto the fathers of Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. All right. So yeah, man. So you basically you're supposed to live. You're supposed to live your life according to the scriptures, man. You know, cleaving unto the cleaving unto the Lord. How do you cleave to something, man? You drawn to Him. I know. I'm pretty sure if you brothers out there got a big booty, uh, 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 uh big booty, uh, woman, you want what? You're gonna cleave unto her. You're gonna always uh, uh, be uh, 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 trying to be a boner, trying to cuddle with her, trying to you know have some sex with her or something. You know, that's how you're supposed to be with these scriptures, man. You're supposed to cleave unto the Lord, man. You know, so you're supposed you know, you turn to the Lord. That's the life. Bible, uh, pull up on the phone, Psalms 8 and 34. Okay. If you cleave it to the Lord, that's the life. That's the life. That's the that's the spirit. All right, because it said the spirit that quickens you. You can't be quickened if you ain't doing the things that the, if you ain't doing the things the Lord said. Because why? Psalm. Because the Lord make you alive. Psalms 8 and what? 34. There's no 8 and 34. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Proverbs 8 and 34. Oh, there you go. I put Psalms on those. Oh, oh, uh, Khan, this is a uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 8, verse 34. It says, Blesses the man that heareth me, watching, so it says, Blesses the man that heareth me, watching daily in my gates. Ty, watching daily at my gates. How do you watch at the Lord's gates? By standing in the Spirit. How do you stay in the Spirit? By doing the things that commanded of uh, doing the things that the Lord commanded of you to do. Yep. All right. Praying, fasting. Doing your video, well, obeying the men that rule over you. Mm -hmm. You know, keep going. It says, waiting at the post of my doors. Okay. For whosoever findeth me findeth life. Whosoever findeth the Lord findeth life. And not just the Lord, because you could be, you could be, uh, you could be like the Pharisees. They kept the laws, but they were still wicked. Yep. You know, it's not only keeping the laws, man. You got to actually keep, you got to uh, keep the laws in sincerity and in truth. Yeah. You know? Yep. They didn't do it in sincerity and in truth. They did it for the sight of other men. In order to, to gain that uh that name, you know, they yep. wanted to be they were, they got that constellation, but you got to do it in sincerity and in truth to stay in the spirit of you. How about Shemiel Shah? Yep, you absolutely. Know? Keep going. It says, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. It says, but he that sinneth against his sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Huh. All right, and what's hate? The opposite of love, and what's love? We already established that. All right, it's an action word. 
and you must keep his commandments. That's how you show love. If you're not doing that, you're showing you're showing you hatred. All right. So if you're showing hatred, guess what? You love death. And what's and what's this world has to offer you, man? Nothing but death, man. And Proverbs, I'm gonna say, which I'm gonna get. Um, it says, uh, 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 uh let me just shut up and get it. This is um, Proverbs chapter five, verse. I'm gonna try to get straight to the point. Um, I'm gonna get three. It says, for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil, but her end is bitter as wormwood, sharper than as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. All right. So what's that strange woman, man? The philosophies in this uh, 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 American doctrine, man. All right. That's exactly what this place is, man. This place is a uh, 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 death, man. All right. Because th uh, this place doesn't uh, um, uplift Yahweh Shem Yahweh This place uplifts what? Uh, 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 wickedness, pleasing your flesh, pleasing your uh, 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 pleasing your, uh, your pleasing your woman, pleasing all the things that has uh, everything that's contrary against uh, uh, the spirit, man. All right. So if you if so if you uh, 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 love death, guess what, man? You're of this world, man. If you're not studying, if you're not constantly, uh, uh, um, how can I say? If you're not constantly in the spirit, man, hey, man, that means you love this world, man. All right? Because if you love something, what the fuck that nigga? If you love something, man, you're going to actually uh, 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 put an effort into it, man. All right? If you love your woman, you're going to put effort to it. Show her that you love her, man. If you love your children, you're going to put effort in it. You're going to show that you love your children, man. Same thing with the Lord, man. You can't just say, I love God and don't do nothing about it. You know, yeah, that's why, not love. Yeah, why is the why is the law uh, there for you, man? Because the Lord loved you, mm -hmm. not because you're mighty or greater in number, for you the you are the fewest. But the Lord loved you, all right. Yep. And the Lord gave you the laws of Him uh, of, of Himself, because He why He made us in His image. So He made us in the laws that He keep. I mean that uh, that that He sees fitting for life. You know, the Lord made the laws like, okay, this is the way to live. I'm not gonna give these to everybody because it's not gonna be special anymore. I'm gonna give this to a select few people mm -hmm. and that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah he gave us a piece of his spirit Yep. You know, and you got niggas in this world right now. They don't want to dwell in that spirit, man They think they got they can do it everything themselves. All right. They want to live like heathens, man You know want to go around eating pork eating shrimp and it's proud of it You know you tell a nigga about uh, uh, not eating it and they're just like I don't care I'm gonna still eat it. Yep. You know choosing the way of the heathens man. Pride no, of life. the pride of life man. All right And what's the scripture says what? The pride is the beginning of the departing of the Lord, man. Yep. All right? So you're supposed to constantly stay in the spirit, man. You're supposed to constantly dwell with the Yahweh Bashim Yasha. Because guess what? With Yahweh Bashim Yasha, rest is life, man. That's where the rest comes in at, man. That's where life dwells at, man. So if you want life, guess what? You have to rest in the palms of Yahweh Bashim Yasha, man. All right? Uh, but, uh mm -hmm. you got that, uh, you had they forsake, uh, get, uh, John 7 and 38. 38 yeah because the scripture speaking parables all right now what parable what, what's 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 likened into the spirit water all right but not any kind of water Bible, I go ahead? john 7 verse 38 says he that believeth on me as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water rivers of living water but it's constantly moving wisdom is infinite all right the wisdom of yahweh by shim yahweh shah is infinite man you know so no matter how long you in this truth if you stay in the spirit you're going to constantly learn you're gonna constantly, you're gonna constantly grow because why? Uh, uh, the spirit's always moving, it's never stagnant, just like water. Why I say you shall flow out of your belly the rivers of living water, because water is constantly flowing. You know, rivers of living water, lively water. If, it's, if water is dead, then it's stagnant. Mm -hmm. You know, swamp water. Swamp water, stagnant, yep. lifeless. But uh, 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 it said these words that I speak to, they are spirit and they are life. Water that's moving always it has a current always it's lively you know it's constantly changing. Mm -hmm. uh, let me finish this. Let me, let me get this next verse. It says, "But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on on him should receive, okay. for the Holy Ghost was not given was not yet given, because Yahweh Shah was not yet glorified." Okay. Now, right. you get to jump to four thirteen. John. John. This is uh, John chapter 4, verse 13. It says, Yahweh Shah answered and said unto her, it says, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Mm -hmm. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Shall but, never thirst. But what? Mm -hmm. But the water that I shall give him shall be unto him as a well of a spring. Of a, it's like a well of water springing up an everlasting life. Everlasting life. That's the spirit. All right, that's the well water. That's the water coming from the scriptures, the words that we're reading. We're going to be likened to water 
that's always uh, uh, fresh. Yep. All right. Uh, and, what's and, the scripture? The and, cold water. Let me see this. Okay. You go, and, you got to say? Yeah, and, and, what, and what's the talking about when it says never thirst again is basically you're not going to be looking for no other doctrines out here. All right. Because it's what uh, uh, Israel and I have not obtained what they're seeking for. Because Israel is out here looking for all these waivers doctrine, trying to obtain that. Because uh, they Israel know there's a higher power out there. You know, so they're trying their best to get close to the Lord, but they always feel empty somehow. If, if it's in Islam, if it's in Buddha, if it's in Seven Day Adventist, if it's even if it's an atheist, you know, a Scientologist. Uh, uh, Egyptologists, all this uh, uh, waiver shit, Jake always feel empty. That's why you know you don't see no fucking. Oh, I've been uh, I've been Egyptologist ever since I was in my twenties, or I've been Egyptologist ever since I was in my thirties. You don't see no old. You always see some some new Egyptologist. You know how how, how how long you've been studying? I've been studying Egyptologist for like two three years now. You know that means in the next couple years, man, you gonna fucking you gonna leave it alone, man, because you first of all you get bored of it, and you leave it alone, man. Just like Elder Demar said, man. Jake find a, a religion on how much wickedness they can do as a nigga, man. All right. So they, so basically, when the Lord was saying His eyes should give you a, a wells of living water that you never thirst again, He's talking about the scriptures through the Spirit because we're not thirsting no more, man. We found what we were looking for, man. That's what you know? Romans. We found, yeah. yeah. We found We found us being a people, man. We know who we are. We're actually woken up. So thus, we don't thirst no more. All right. We're constantly being uh, well, well watered. All right. By through the uh, through the Spirit. Well, all right. Uh, can you get a Jeremiah? 18 and 14. Jeremiah? Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 14. It says, 13. Well, 13. Verse 13, it says, Therefore, thus said the Lord, Ask ye um, now among the heathens who have heard such things. The virgin of Israel hath done a very bit, a, a very horrible thing. Which is what? Which is what? I'm going to get that, but go ahead. Will a man leave the snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rocks of the field or shall the cold flowing water that cometh from another place be forsaken no it won't be forsaken but israel has forsaken it they have forsaken the cold flowing waters that cometh from the from the hills they have forsaken the snow of lebanon which cometh out of the rock of the field all right now jump up to the to the uh, 17 verse uh, chapter 17 and get verse uh 13. Okay, verse 17 verse 13 chapter 17 verse 13 O lord the hope of israel all that forsake thee shall be ashamed and they that per depart from me shall be written in the uh, written in the earth because they have forsake the lord the fountain of living waters which is the spirit which is the spirit you know what i'm saying it says acts of the heathen and then they will tell thee the heathen would have been repented because why heathens love that that mullah that money you know heathens would have been repented oh if you if i do this and do if i do this and this and that you'll give me what Oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to repent in this day. But Israel, is Israel a home-born slave? You know, Israel has forsaken. It said, what? It said, what? It greeted up again. It said, uh, it says, all that, all that shame, they shall, de uh, they that depart from me shall be ridden in the earth because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living water. So the spirit is like into water. The words of the Lord, the, the, the words of the Lord are like into water because why? Water is always flowing. Well, flowing water. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's like it's a flowing water because it's always lively. And spirit is what? It's life. And if yep. you don't follow the spirit, it's death. All right. If you think about it, I mean, what would you rather have? Water uh, uh, water that's moving or water that's stagnant? Yeah. Think it compared to a body. A body that's moving and constantly in motion. Hey, they got a script. They got a, a saying, a scripture. They got a saying out here in the world. They said, what? Um, they said, what, a, a body out of motion tends to stay out of motion, but a body in motion tends to stay in motion, yep. which means what? If you're constantly uh, uh, out of motion, if you're not doing anything, that means you're, you're in a dead state, you know? Right. What do dead bodies do? They just sit there and just lie dead. You know, what does a, 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 a lively body do? Matter of fact, that's what they call it, what? Lively, because you're always moving and you're always uh, jumping around, yep. you know? Lively, you know, uh, who, who names it means lively? Um, right. Yeah, Kaya, you know, right, uh, Kaya, Kaya, yeah, means lively, man. Yeah, means you know, life. you means you always up and moving around. You always, you know, doing something. All right, you got anything else? No, that's it. You all right, kind of, with that, we will give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahusha by Shem Rukakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace, I taste you, brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, and with that, Shalom. Shalom.